All right, so the build that I recommend if you decide to do this with a new build or if you decide to do this multiple times is a power forward six foot five with a six foot five wingspan and these exact same attributes. Now you can copy these attributes and you're gonna be able to start off with an 88 three point shot which will make this method a lot easier. Now I'm gonna call this the seven season method. There's a reason for that and I'll explain towards the end of the video. I have a bonus method for you guys if you guys stick around. So that's a bonus. Now that being said, what team you go to actually matters with this method. So the teams that I recommend are the Mavericks, the Celtics, or the Thunder. Now you have other teams like the Nuggets that might work and you have the Timberwolves, which may or may not work. But I'm gonna go with the Mavericks in this video because I've seemed to have the most success with the Mavericks. You can go ahead and try other teams though. All right, so as soon as you join the My Career, you wanna go straight to your settings and copy the settings that I have. Rookie, five, di rookie, five minutes, you want to turn off the camera shake. You want to turn off the action replays, the highlight play camera cuts, the after basket camera cuts, and then go down and change your commentary language to Spanish or Chinese. Now, the reason you're changing your commentary language is so that you skip the halftime show, which is going to save you a lot of time. Now, if you do not want to hear the commentary, just lower down the commentary volume. You will not hear it whatsoever, but it's going to make your method a lot faster. Now, after that, you want to go to controller settings and put your shot time and profile to real player percentage. You don't have to do this. I recommend it because it makes it easier. But if you want to learn or practice your jump shot, go ahead and leave it on normal, low risk, or whatever you use. Now, another thing you want to do is go straight to your animations and you want to change your animation for your jump shot. Now, you can use whatever jump shot you use. I just threw on Kobe Bryant because it's the only one I had bought for and it's worked so perfectly. So if you want to use Kobe, you can use whatever jump shot you think is going to be very efficient for you. Now, after you do that, the next thing you want to do is go straight to the backstage. Now, I'm going to show you guys a different method in the end of this video that is similar but slightly different. So just, you know, remember a lot of these steps and you'll be able to do the next method as well if you decide to. All right, so once you're in this screen, this is very important. If you skip this part of the video, you're going to screw up and it's going to suck for you. One of the things is you want to pick the personal goals NBA Cup champion. This only works with NBA Cup Champion. It does not work with any other key game, and you have to pick NBA Cup Champion. Remember that, or you're going to double the amount of time you have to take per season. So pick NBA Cup Champion, and I'll show you guys what to do after that. Your first season, make sure you come and talk to Donna right away. As soon as you come to talk, talk to Donna, you want to skip this, and then you want to go straight to the practice facility. Now, when you go to the practice facility, you're going to have a media day question. It's like a photo shoot. Now, I recommend you look at your endorsements and keep coming to the media day. This will unlock the media day photo shoot, which will make you an extra 12,500 VC for free just to start off the season. All right, as a bonus, make sure you use your skill slot in unrelenting or your goat skills, unrelenting and uh, open season. Those are the easiest ones to complete and they're very easy to activate. It's just going to make it easier for you to make shots and score points. All right, so the next step is to actually play your rookie debut. Now, I have to clarify because I know a lot of people have this question, but this is actually the only game you actually have to try. So make sure you score as many points as possible. Try to get 200 if possible. That's very important for this method. It's going to make this a lot easier. So score a lot of points in this game, and I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'm going to show you what to do after that. All right, so as soon as you get in your first game, you want to score a bunch of points. Like I said, I have 82. Make it 85. Um, as soon as you do that, you finish the game. This is the only time, like I said before, that you have to score a lot of points. You don't have to worry about that anymore. And so I'll get right into that, and I'm going to show you what to do right after. It gets kind of complicated, so just bear with me, okay? All right, so after your first game, you just want to sim to the next key game, which is going to take you directly. And when I mean directly, it's going to take you directly to the playoff or the NBA Cup championships. Now, I don't want to complicate it too much, but remember now I'm going to refer to these as the key games. This is the first key game. The first NBA Cup Championship is your first key game. I'm doing that so you guys don't get confused. Now, the goal is to become a starter as quick as possible with this method. So make sure you become a starter. That means you get a good teammate grade. And trust me, you'll understand why. So let me, let me show you how to get out of these games as quick as possible. So let me hop in and I'll show you. All right, so your first couple games, you want to get out of them as quick as possible. But you won't be able to sim out and get VC. So the quickest way to do it is to get a quick of four fouls. Four fouls very quickly. And you'll be able to sim or to the fourth quarter. And then you just want to play it out. I know it's kind of tedious, but trust me, it's the fastest way to get it done. So I'm going to go do that and finish it. And then I'll show you what to do after that. Actually, you want to repeat this until you become a starter. Then I'll show you guys what to do after that. All right, so a quick reminder. Get four quick fouls. It'll send you straight to the fourth quarter. 
Now, you just want to play. Eventually, you'll get subbed out. There's other reasons I'm recommending you do this. Try to score as many points as here as possible because it is your first season and it is early in the season. If you were to foul out here, your, your stats would get destroyed, which would really make this method very difficult. So I just recommend you play through it. Just get a bunch of points in these games. You only have to do it a couple times until you become a starter, then everything changes. All right, so once you become a starter, and by the way, it should happen after your third key game, which is your third cup game. Just keep in mind, when you're talking, when I'm talking about key games, look at the things. It's the ones that when you press R1, those are your key games, right? So you get four with this the NBA Cups, you'll be able to see four. Then after the fourth one, you'll see the next two. And so just, just a quick reminder so you guys don't get confused. All right, so quick reminder, you do not have to win or lose any of the first four key games. You just have to make sure you lose your sixth key game. Now, your sixth key game will say key game, parentheses, six slash seven, parentheses, NBA Cup champion. Just want a quick reminder. I'll show you guys again when I get there, but a quick reminder so you don't get confused. It doesn't matter, matter if you win or lose the first five. You have to make sure to lose the sixth. Now, I'm going to show you how to get through these games as quick as possible, and I'll be right there in a second. All right, so for your games, once you become a starter, and you're going to want to repeat this a lot, especially with uh, the seven-season method, you, there's, a, there's another thing you can do as well. But the first thing you want to do is get four quick fouls and literally go to the fourth quarter. Very similar to the first way to get through the games, but there's a big different difference, and I'll show you once I get to the fourth quarter. All right, so once you get to the fourth quarter, you have two options. If you're up by like 10 or 11 points like I am, or if the score is tied, you can just score enough points to go up 25 and ask out and sim to end with VC. Or if you're down by a lot and you don't want to play the game, just foul out. It'll save you a bunch of time. Now, for me, I'm up by at least 9 points, which means that I, I want to get the VC from this game. So I'm going to ask out and sim to end with VC, but all I have to do is score enough points so we get a 25-point lead. Just want to point that out. That's the only way to get through this. And like I said earlier, you want to repeat this when your next couple key games get to the sixth key game, and I'll tell you what to do. And, you know, if you don't know what that is, I'll show you in the next clip. All right, so after your third key game, and for those wondering, you can check your key games by pressing L1, R1. These are your key games. Your third says key game three of seven. This is just for those who get confused. Don't worry about it. You'll be fine. So after your third key game, you're going to get the quest for endorsements. Just come to talk to Patrick. You're going to be able to skip this part as quick as possible. I recommend you sign into Nike if you want to. If you're doing the seven season method where you have to win the finals, Try Jordan. I heard Jordan is really, really good. So try Jordan. Try Nike. Those are two very good ones. If you don't want to do Jordan, do Nike. So that's all you have to do. After this, you're going to get some quests, and you want to complete them. And you'll be able to collect all these endorsements eventually. You won't be able to do it your first season. It's probably going to be your second or third. Um, and so you'll be fine. But make sure you do the certain quests, and they'll pop up. They'll be like, hey, go to the team practice facility to do the meetings. I'll show you which ones in a second. But... All right, so after you're done with your first five key games, and by the way, like I said before, the easy way to check through your key games is just to press R1 in the schedule and show you all of them. For this method to work, you need to lose your sixth key game, right? You can lose your fifth, but you need to lose your sixth key game. That's the easiest way to explain it. You don't have to win or lose any others. It doesn't matter, but you have to lose your sixth key game. Very important to remember that. Now, the easiest way to lose, especially because you should be on a good team like the Mavs, is to throw it on Hall of Fame and to foul out. And I'll show you guys a way to force it. But usually just by fouling out, you'll be able to lose. And I'll show you guys, either way, I'll show you guys how to do it in case you have to, how to cheese the system so you intentionally lose on purpose. All right, so when you get into your sixth game, you may struggle to lose the game. One of the easiest ways to do it is to get five fouls. And if your team is somehow up, then you close the app. But if your team is slightly down, you may want to sell by calling a bunch of timeouts, missing shots on purpose before you foul out eventually. And as you can see, I'm just safeguarding it. Yes, I'm going to finish with an F teammate great and it's going to tank my stats. But the amount of time that I save from this game being lost is so much better than having to deal with, you know, accidentally winning the game. So that's why I do it. Then you can just foul out. Yes, you won't get VC from this game, but trust me, you save so much time. Now I'm going to show you what to do right after this game, and this is a very important step. All right, so right after your sixth game, one of the most important things to do, and I kid you not, if you do not do this, it's not going to work, close the app. Simple, I know, but I got to remind people, close the app after your sixth game. If you do not do that, it's not going to work. Now I'm going to show you what to do right after you get back into the game. Just give me a second. All right, so as soon as you load up the game again, the first things you want to do is go to your settings and change your difficulty back to rookie. 
I recommend you do that just because you don't want to forget and accidentally get into a playoff game or something like that and lose. Now, right after that, go to your schedule and just press square. And I kid you not, just let it sim. Um, you might lose a couple games now. But if you're in the Mavs and you're using the power forward, you'll probably win most of them, though. All right, anytime it stops you from jersey swaps or GOAT moments, just press square again and get right through it. Now, here is very important. If it stops you at January 1st or January 2nd or 3rd, then you did the method wrong. The reason I say this is because it, it, when you're simming, it's going to stop you multiple times. But if it stops you exactly on January 1st or January 2nd, and it's specifically to do a mid-season meeting, you did the method wrong and you have to redo it. Now, eventually, towards the end of the season, you're going to get stopped and it's going to say franchise player trouble in paradise. Don't be scared. This you actually have to do your rookie year. You won't have to do it after that. So don't be scared. Just go to the front office. This is not a problem for you. You'll be fine. And I know a lot of people asked me about this the other video, so that's why I'm clarifying. You'll be completely fine. You just skip this. It's going to give you a quest, and it's going to send you somewhere else. You're going to have to go to my court. Just go ahead and do that very quickly. Don't worry about it. You'll be 100% fine, like I said. Now, one thing about rewards is you don't have to worry about the MVPs. You do want to win MVPs and things like that, but if you don't win them every season, you'll be fine as long as you win the championships. Now, this is part of the seven-season method. Now, the quickest way to get to the playoffs is to be on a really good team like the Mavericks and just sweep them or win 4-1 to one or 4-2. to two. So you never have to play a game. If you go to Game 7, you'll have to play it. Um, but just try to sim through it. You know, for example, you want to do a couple games at a time. I won two. I won three in a row. All right, hopefully I win this. I did get through the round. And I might be able to show you how to get through the playoffs the entire time. So, and I'll show you what to do if you don't get through the playoffs right away. Swept through that right real quickly. And then you get into the third round. You want to try to sweep through this. It might, you know, there's going to be eventually a playoff that gets you down 3-1. It's just, it's kind of like in the script. Now, I was able to get through the first three rounds like this instantly. I didn't have to play a single game. If you do have to play a game, just go in, you know, do the same method where you get four fouls and then just make sure you win at the end. You should be pretty good with the Mavericks or I recommend the Mavericks, by the way, or any of the better teams in the NBA, like the Celtics. Now, the Celtics might give me more problems, but... No, I, they didn't. So I won three on them. Now I have to play the last game. So I'm going to play the last game. You want to do the same method where you get four fouls, and in the fourth quarter, you want to go off. This is the only playoff game that you have to play, for example. All right, so after you win the finals in your first season, all you got to do is literally go in, uh, into the off season. Now, after that, you want to go talk to Patrick. He's going to talk about the next season, and you're going to want to sign to the same team. This is a very important message. Sign to the same team team if you don't do it you will not be able to do this method successfully so resign to the same team now another thing for the 2025 offseason focus make sure you do the FIBA qualifiers now you'll get different variations of this back um ending you will want to do the, the specifically the ones you want to do is the FIBA qualifiers and the FIBA tournament i'll show you what that looks like in a little bit make sure you do the FIBA qualifier and I'm telling you right now, if you do not do this, you will not be able to make this method work. You're not. You're going to lose out on a lot of VC, and you're going to be very upset. Now, that's all you have to do. The easiest way to get through the game, and as soon as the team, the game starts, you want to get a couple quick fouls. Try to get to the second half. Usually, the team is going to blow out the other team, except for Canada. Canada usually puts up a fight. But if they do put up a fight, all you got to do in the second half is just dominate because you do need to win this game. It's a 100% guarantee. If you do not win this game... You will fail this challenge, and you will not make all the VC that you want. So make sure you win this game for sure. All right, like I said, just get a couple quick fouls. You'll go into the second half. Usually your team is going to be blowing them out. If you do not blow them out, just drop a bunch of points, and you'll be able to get out. Now, this is the only FIBA qualifier or FIBA game you have to play besides this one and the FIBA tournament. Now, just remember that. I'll show you what the FIBA tournament is in a little bit. But before I do, let me explain what you do for the next couple of seasons and what you will continue to do every single season. All right, so after the season, when you come back, I recommend you keep going with uh, Jordan. Uh, Finals MVP gets you VC. I recommend that. I, I think Kyrie stealing it for me is very annoying, but it's okay. You should be fine. Just keep going with Jordan. You want to try Nike, that's another option. You can try uh, Under Armour as well because you do make a lot of threes. There's a couple of different shoe endorsements you want to try, but usually Jordan and Nike are the best. Anyways, at the beginning of the season, you just want to repeat the process of the NBA Cup Championship season goal. This is very important, and you're going to want to repeat this for the rest of the entirety of the seven seasons that you play. All right, so at the start of the season, and this will work more specifically for the third, 
and after that, because in the first one, for some reason, you do not unlock it, just make sure you keep going and doing your endorsements. Run outside. Um, it might work in the first season. I believe it's t it's in the third season. But in the third season, Donna will be out here, and all you have to do is talk to her. No, you'll get an extra 2,500 VC. Just wanted to add that. I did not mention it in the video, so I had to record this way later on. So, yes, just remember to do that. It should work in your third season. If it doesn't, then it's bugged out, and we don't know a fix for that. Now, one thing I want to point out is pay attention to your stats. When you start simming, look how much you're averaging. I started off the season at 70. I'm at 52. As long as your averages are very ridiculous, you are going to be fine. If your averages tank and it happens some seasons, you may want to have to play the first regular season game or the next regular season game available and be able to go dominate so your stats look really good. Like I said about trading for players, there's a couple things you can do. For example, if you wanted to do Wemby, um, it's hard to do it in the second year because he's that good. But you can technically try to trade for Wemby, and obviously you would have to sim a couple games. And if it gets declined, it's going to say that. But look for players to trade. I, I recommend usually don't go for Wemby if he's more than a 91. Usually you'll be fine just by going for the players that are between 85 to 90. Now, those are usually upgrades. For example, our small forward is an 81. So if I go to small forwards, I can trade for Franz Wagner or Brandon Miller or Brandon Ingram. And those teams are usually going to be good. Like Brandon Miller has very good potential of an A. So he's going to get a lot better. That's just a recommendation to make it easier to get through the playoffs every single time without losing any games. You'll be completely fine. Trust me. You'll like it. You'll be, you'll be great. All right. So after the 2027 season and after the 2031st season, which is the third and seventh season of your career, you're going to come and talk to Patrick, and he's going to talk about the 20 or the offseason focus. Now, read the FIBA games. It's going to say final three rounds. This you have to play. If you do not play this and the qualifying games, you will not make the VC that I'm promising you. So make sure you do this. These are very easy. Again, just put it on rookie difficulty and do the same method of fouling and going to the second half, and you're up 25. Ask out to sim to end with VC, and you'll be fine completely. Just make sure your rookie difficulty... For example, I'm on Hall of Fame. So I'm going to go ahead and collect that VC, and I'll show you guys when, when to do that. All right, so for the seven season method, I forgot to include this, but you do want to play seven seasons because that's how you unlock the Hall of Fame, the top of the mountain, and the greatest of all time quest. That's how you complete all of them, and that gives you a lot of VC. Now, one of the things that I've seen people struggle with is a Hall of Fame one when they become the GOAT or they build the greatest dynasty of all time is that they don't know how to get it. All you have to do is say, start the Hall of Fame induction ceremony from the GOAT to your dynasty list menus. All you got to do is go to go tier and just press square. And it's going to do a Hall of Fame speech. Once you do the Hall of Fame speech, you'll be fine. That'll give you the 10,000 VC. You can skip through it. You can just pre keep pressing X. Just a quick reminder. And that is how you do the seven season method. It does take longer than the three season method, but you'll make about 210 to 220,000 VC every single time you do it. And it's going to be a lot quicker than it used to be. So make sure you guys do it. Now, let me show you how to do the third or the three season method. All right, so for the three-season method, and there's a reason I'm doing it like this, just because it gets kind of complicated and the video's too long. So I'm just going to tell you how to do it, and I hope you guys can follow through. If you need help, it'll be in the comments. I'm sure some people will give you the options. But you just want to kind of do everything that I showed you before. But the big difference is you don't have to worry about scoring any points in your first game. You don't have to worry about any of the NBA Finals. And all you have to do is just foul out of every game and make sure you lose the sixth cup game or the sixth key game like the original method. And then you just do that three seasons, and then you do the FIBA tournament, the FIBA qualifiers, and I would even do the FIBA exhibitions just for fun. I mean, you get an easy easy amount of VC. So that is the, the three-season method. It's a lot faster. If you guys want me to make a whole video explaining it, definitely will. I will say you won't make as much VC because the endorsements are harder to collect. Um, you don't play as many seasons. Your endorsement or your shoe deals don't give you as much VC. So that is kind of the downside, but like I said... It's a lot faster, and I thought it would be easier for me to just tell you how to do it than to show you because the video is already kind of long. If you guys want a full in-depth guide to the three-season method, make sure you leave a comment down below, and I'll definitely do that. I just think the seven-season method is so much superior that I don't want to give too much time to the three-season three method. So thank you guys for watching. God bless you. Jesus loves you. I love you. Thank you guys for the support, and I hope you guys enjoy everything. Um, and Go stack your VC before this gets changed or patched or nerfed or whatever 2K decides to do. And you don't have to worry about it for the rest of the year. So that's pretty amazing. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. God bless you. Like I said, Jesus loves you. Get saved and see you guys later.